Hello everyone, this is me again, so I'm on AKA No Brainer, and welcome to another Star Wars Destiny video. I'm gonna be honest, I've never managed to play much of a Qui-Gon Jinn deck, never managed to break it, never really felt like it was a good sort of character for me. Like, his his dice are really good, his effect is great, because his effect is, for this character gains one or more shields, you may remove one of his shields to deal one damage to a character, making him a really good control character that's really good at potentially staying alive. But I've never managed to break him. I've never managed to use him in deck that I've liked. Because I've, I've played Qui-Gon Ray, right? Qui-Gon Ray is nice, but it's mono blue. And the Ray doesn't add all that much. I, I don't like Qui-Gon Ray at all. The Ray doesn't add very much. It's it's okay. The, the biggest strength is simply the fact that it's got four dice and Qui-Gon's two dice. Two dice character is very amazing. Uh, it's very, very good with uh, the two shields and the two melee damage sides. But uh, today I was like, you know, there's there's more going to be more stuff for Qui Gon Jinn in the next expansion. I'm going to want to at least get a feel for how he plays in the current set. So let's uh, let's try him out. And I've decided to put him uh, in the Ak Akbar slot uh, of my current Akbar Rebel Trooper deck, somewhat, somewhat. Okay, that's what that was the initial idea. Uh, the troopers uh, specifically have Guardian. Uh, which allow me to remove to mitigate damage and spread it around and shields a mass shield deck loves the idea of spreading it around because they can only get three shields on one character at a time so shielding up the rebel troopers for guardian does definitely work very defensive uh standpoint here also the rebel guardians has four damage sides if you count a shield as a damage side because of qui-gon jinn which it can do in a pinch so potentially four damage sides on the rebel trooper makes them very very effective here rebel troopers scale very well with health because of guardian and then the the damage yeah well, that's what I said. So, um, by being a very defensive deck, you're going to want some very powerful uh, upgrades or supports. And Red has the Launch Bay and Black One. And as we've seen with my uh, Akbar deck, a Launch Bay on its own is potentially lethal enough to kill. And Launch Bay Black One are very, very powerful cards. But in order to get those, you need some resources. Uh, and you also want some shields. So, I've gone with 10 upgrades here. Uh, go away. Shrink. There we go. I've gone with 10 upgrades here that all have shields and resources, basically. Well, okay, Scout only has a resource, but it's it provides some discard, it's probably some disrupt, it's got some uh, focus, and it's just really, really good for one cost. I could have played Datapad instead, but I prefer Scout to Datapad. I, the ability to look at my opponent's hand so that I can decide what to do is just very, very nice to have. Uh, but then I've got Promotion, which is an amazing card, and with Shield, again, that's an extra potential uh, p d damage side, and then it's got plus one range and a plus one melee. And as you know, notice, might notice, I've uh, I've mixed damage types here. I've got some melee here, and I've got some range damage here. So uh, the melee can actually go off on promotion. So this is a, a just a great, great card. Now I've got the blaster pistol. Does not have a resource, but it has the shield, so it's got four damage sides on it. Very, very powerful card. Uh, with it's just a really good one, one cost. And with these three cards, that's six upgrades, which helps um, with the curve mitigate the offset of, of the, having launch bay and black ones, two launch bays and two black ones in the deck. Uh, very, very nice to just lower that cost so that I've got some stuff to, to play early on. I, I can hard mulligan for these and then use these to uh, get my launch bay and black one out. Uh, force training, surprisingly effective as well. It's got one range damage, which can work with the plus two uh, range damage on the promotion, on the blast pistol, plus one on the promotion, plus one on the rebel trooper, plus one on the on the other rebel trooper. Uh, but it's also got the plus two melee damage, which can work with the uh, Qui Gon Jinn. Uh, very unlikely though, because Qui Gon Jinn's only got one dice. But then it's also got a resource and then a special, which can be a resource as well. So it's got two potential resource sides, and it's choosing to do two of the following. So I can deal a damage to a character and give and give Qui Gon a shield, which then acts as another damage. Or I can just give a shield to someone, uh, go for my tank play, right? That that's the key with this deck, right? It's got um it's got eighteen plus whatever, it's got twenty-five health, and then the ability to get a lot of shields. It can really tank up if it needs to. And uh, that that makes this deck very powerful for launch bay and black one. Uh, I've also got survival gear in here. Uh, survival gear in the vast majority of situations I will say never to use. There's usually a better card for it. But in this situation, having the two shield sides works with Qui-Gon. Qui-Gon is one of the very few decks that this will work with. Rebel Troopers is one of the very few this will work with. So this works. And it's also another melee side to potentially activate force training. And then of course again it's got two resource sides. Which is 
very, very nice for, for getting these out. So the idea is to mulligan hard for these, and then you can use these to get out the launch bay and black one. And just keeping yourself alive whilst just activating launch bay every turn will win you the game eventually. So, because it's just that powerful, right? So uh, what do we el else do we have? Well, we're going to go into events now. Uh, I've, I've got 16 spots for events, so let's go for Dug In here. Dug In is such a good, good card, such a good card for the Rebel Trooper. Well, not for Rebel Trooper, for Red in general, and then for Qui Gon's particularly. Um, three shields is great. That's that's one of the things that I was miss that I was missing in Qui Gon Ray very heavily was the ability to just say, okay, I've got no shields left. Let's just get shields on. Let's just play some shields right now. I need that burst shield. I need to survive. Dug In provides that. Defensive stance, again, yet more shields, more shields, more shields, more shields. Field medic, heal, 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 more defense, more survivability, more lasting power for more black one and launch bay activations. And then I've got repost to remove the shields if I just happen to have excess for that three damage. There's a potential three damage burst here. That's the thing, right? I'm talking about shields, I'm talking about all this. This deck can do damage. If, if you can survive long enough for launch bay to start doing damage, survive long enough for black one to start doing damage, and just naturally over the course of the game start rolling a lot of damage because you're surviving long enough that you're just playing more turns out, uh, this could definitely start killing people, right? And Repost has that extra just three burst. But then what am I going to do for my other um, events? Like, I don't have mitigation. That's a problem, right? I'm getting shields instead of actual mitigation. I'm just surviving. So uh, I'm going to put that... I'm going to choose flank. One resource, remove a die. Just just great, great all-around card. Just great, solid card. Just going to have that. Potentially, though, I could uh, drop that out. Anticipate. Now, Anticipate is actually very powerful in certain situations. And I think the fact that I've got so little mitigation makes this card worth playing as a mitigator. Because I can just play this to stop an opponent's turn dead if I need to. Right. Choose... Choose and resolve any number of their die in their order of their choice, and then remove all the dice they did not resolve. They get a bad roll, I just wreck them with it. It's a good card, good, nice, solid. It costs two resources, but the deck is planned to have a lot of resources, so it doesn't necessarily matter that I'm getting a lot, that I'm paying a lot of resources for this. And I need some mitigation. If I'm playing an entire deck and I'm not throwing down any mitigation at all, it might lull them into full sense of security where they can just decide, I'm going to roll out all my characters right now and then I'll start resolving stuff. And then you throw down and anticipate and that screws them over. The correct play, of course, is to just not roll out all your characters all the time. But in a heavy modifier, in a heavy, heavy modifier meta, which we've got right now with uh, Django Veers, Django Balas, um, all that sort of stuff, where they've got a lot of modify die and they're looking to get that gray die out. Anticipate turns turns modifies into blanks effectively. So very, very powerful. Yeah. And then I've got deflect because uh, you gotta run deflect in this meta, really. I, I wish you didn't. Maybe I'd only have one deflect and one anticipate and two or something else. But right now I'm just doing uh, two deflect to uh, anticipate here. And then for the last card, the Coupe de Grasse that I think makes this deck work very nicely is Patience. Okay. So patience removes any number of my dice, then discard cards from pot top of deck equals the number of dice you just removed. Just by adding this into my deck, it is now a mill deck. There's a lot of potential to mill with this. Just just if I've got like two if I've got two scouts down and promotion down, uh the mill for six. Boom. And because I'm going to have a lot of shields, I'm going to have a lot of defense, it's going to be a time where my opponent has a dud turn. Maybe he plays anticipate has a dud turn with that. Then I can just remove six seven eight nine cards from his deck and he is screwed because with with a removal like that he then cannot re-roll and that put and that allows me to stall the game out even longer get more launch bay activations more black one activations more shields more defense more survivability more winning right this is a this is a very late game control to get deck without very much mitigation so let's see how it does in some test games all right, so let's try this deck out then. All right, so uh, a bit bit slanted when you start it. All right, we're against a Kylo uh, Darth Vader by a guy named Christian Ryhans coming. Um, he's go the guy also known as Peace Lord in Nice of Ren Discord. He is the Seven uh, Gaming Network guy who uh, does some Star Wars Destiny content. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, beginner tactics uh, for certain cards and stuff. I'll, I'll link it in the description. So uh, let's uh, see. Let's uh, let's. Whilst he's got a lot of time, let's overly discuss this hand. Um, 
I would like to keep a launch bay or a black one. I'd like to keep a black one, but I definitely don't want two dug-ins at the start of the game. In fact, arguably, I don't even want any at the start. I want to get my upgrades as quickly as possible. I, I need the scout and promotion. So I think I just mulligan four here. Just keep the black one just as a... Just as a... Hmm. Well, the thing is, this deck doesn't necessarily do the most damage. Right? So... Hmm. Maybe I throw away the black one as well. And I'll keep the black one for now. Might be a mistake, but I'll keep the black one. No, just hope I get my uh, upgrades. Okay, I did get a blast pistol, so I did get an upgrade. I got patience, which is a really bad card to have in the opening, but I do also have an empty spate, which might work. I dug in still, but I also got a D blast pistol, which is uh, what is the important thing? Which is what the important? Which is how do I say the sentence? Which is the important thing that it is what now? Which is the important thing? I think that's. I think I was right the first time. I don't know what's going on there. All right, he's morganing three, four, morganing four. Okay. He didn't shuffle. Well played. <laughs> oh, hit the blank. Alright, well I got a 3. He can probably beat that. But I don't necessarily mind his battlefield. Um, uh, the Blast Pistol does have a, a cost. Die oh wow, I won. Huh. Well now here's an imp interesting question. Do I want the shields? Because having early shields is very nice for this deck. He does get to go first though. And uh, I'm not going to necessarily have a long term one, so I'll I'll take I'll take my base. I'll take my my uh, thing. And I think I just start by uh, uh, I don't want to play the bus pistol immediately because of advanced play potential, so I'll start with the Qui Gon general. But starting with those two shields might have been a be the better choice. I don't know. We're all in the blank on the Qui Gon immediately. That's a great great opening start to this deck. Opponent is starting with zero resources right now. He might want to get some resources over here. If he's uh, paying any attention to my hand at all. There we go. All right. Cool, cool. So now I could play a dug in uh, for cheap if I wanted to. I say Thalcron is a. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I can't. I don't necessarily need to pull cut pull uh to pull using Guardian off of people early on. So I think I can just go for a blast pistol here. Uh, I can have a maximum of four dice, so uh, patience will still be absolutely awful. Let's see what he rolls here. Two blanks. Okay, we are we are the best. We are the best. Okay, uh, I think I just straight up discard. Uh, I think I just straight up discard patience here. Then I'll roll the trooper out. I could play Anticipate to make him use up the blanks, but actually I don't have the resources, so I couldn't. Got A Shield, also a plus two. Uh, I'm definitely going to start re-rolling stuff. Don't have much left to uh, discard to re-roll with, though, which is annoying. But you expect that. Anticipate and a Patience are two cards that you do not want to see in the opening game, and best used for the re-roll, really. A Force Choke. Interesting. Well, I'm not going to want to pull anything off in the end, I don't think, with my uh, Guardian, so let me just roll out the Trooper here. A plus one. Okay, well, that's not great. All right, he got uh, he got the two disrupt over there, but he hasn't really got much else. So uh, I can play the dug in if I want right now, just to start with the dug in. Uh, uses up the resources. I only have two uh, times to re-roll though. But uh, sure, I'll uh, I'll play the dug in for one to get three shields on Qui Gon. Then he'll probably play intimidate, and this all ends. Okay. He's discarding Deflect, which is nice for me, because I don't want him to ever Deflect to Launch Bay, potentially. 
you know, keep, keep that, which is a resource cost. If I had two of the resources for the Anticipate, of course, I would have been able to play that, and uh, I would have never had to take any of the damage here, and oh god, that's a special. So that's the problem. Um, can't really deal with that, though. I think I'm just going to have to discard my uh, Anticipate, unfortunately, and do a reroll here. When these three die. Okay, I got a resource. It's still not great. Okay. Using the Holocron. Play a Mind Probe. Okay, so he's got a Mind Probe out at the start of the game. That's great. He can't roll it out, at least, because he doesn't have the resource. But uh, that's uh, that's horrible. Absolutely horrible. I think we're just going to take the resource here. And maybe just ping the Vader for one. Two melee to this trooper, okay. Well, I could ping Vader for one, or alternatively, I can start shielding up the trooper so that he actually remains healthy. I think I uh, just tank up a bit here. I don't want to get rid of the white one is the problem. Okay. Okay. And he plays the Holocron, he's choosing to play it on, he's going to play it on the Vader again, the Vader does have more health, makes more sense. Is that uh, the turn? That is the turn. Alright. Drawing four. Two resources, there we go, a scout and a flank and a defense position, there we go. That's better, although I got the other block one, so one of these is going to be discarded by Vader most probably. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll just start with the scout. I think putting it on Qui-Gon's fine. So, uh, I'll just throw down a scout for one. It'll be great against his uh, Sith Holocron. Uh, he gets two two free things out of the Sith Holocron, but well, then I get to scout it out, maybe. And get rid of that Holocron card. If I need to flank something here, then I will. Alright, it's three range damage. Throws the discard at me, yeah, sure. It's three range damage, but uh, I don't necessarily need to be so scared about it. Because it costs him a resource at least, so it's not the worst. And, uh, hmm. I think I'll just uh, roll out the Qui Gon here. Okay, I did get that, so uh, if he ever does, if he uh, re rolls the Sith Holocron and gets special, I can then at least scout whenever he uses it. I put a shield on whoever the hell it is that's getting uh that's getting uh mind probe tip for three here. Okay, four strike. So it's gonna be a three melee damage onto something. Okay. Rebel Troopers now at four. Uh I can pull off the uh, the three range damage die with a rebel trooper, or I can flank it away here, or I can just give him the shield and then defensive position him later. Which it would cost him both of his resources to have that happen to him. But maybe a flank just to remove the th potential three damage is the best job choice here. I think that's what I'll do. I think I'll just flank it for three. Yeah. A flank to remove three damage is fine. Then I can pull whatever I need to pull up from the other trooper. The only thing is, this deck uh, likes to get resources, and I haven't yet got those. 
Uh, that's a two melee. You see, if I had just uh, defense positioned and let that happen. Yep. Okay, so I should have let the three range damage happen because they wouldn't be able to afford the melee necessarily. Also, uh, the special on uh, the Sith Holocron is horrifying. Uh, not on the Sith Holocron, on the Force Choke is horrifying because not only can you turn the Holocron to a special, but also you can prevent something that I do here. So uh, I'm going to... I think I'll roll this trooper and take the two melee damage, I think, here. Because uh, otherwise the trooper's going to be on one HP and easily killable. So, going to take the two. And then roll the trooper out. And a shield, okay. Well, now I might be thinking it's time to discard for rerolls. Gotta keep the... Okay. Okay, with that, what's he turning it to? Okay, he's turning it to the blank. Because you can turn it to any side, so you gotta actually, you know, turn it to a particular side. Alright, I'll roll the last trooper out now. A plus two and a two. Alright, that's four range damage. I can do a maximum of 6 this turn if I wanted to, or I can do 4 damage and get 2 shields on my trooper. Deflect. Damn it! I definitely should have just... Okay, so... Uh, I definitely should have just let him do the 3 range damage in the first place, because uh, this was so much more damage I took as a result of my actions here. It's not even funny. Well, it is somewhat funny, but... Hmm. Yeah, just take the two shields onto this trooper. Just keep tanking up. Okay. Clears the battlefield. I can choose to either discard to reroll or just let this happen. And I just gotta let this happen, unfortunately. Which is uh, annoying to me. Very annoying to me. Just not uh, getting any. Uh, resources right now, but I did just get an Anticipate and a Repost. Repost is three, and then the Anticipate could kill. So, potentially. Potentially. Okay. Throwing away the dodge. Alright, uh, it is his first turn, of course. Well, the two melee and the two disrupt. Uh, the two disrupt is annoying, but not really. It's effectively having two blanks. Uh, he told told me to discard. Okay, he actually did tell me to discard. Then you just discard the the repost. Honestly, it's a good card. But well, I can either have the I can get rid of uh, the other two die here if I want to do. But I think you'll probably want to roll out Kylo first. So I think I'll just uh, accept this here for now. And hope he just doesn't think about the anticipate and remove my resources. Maybe I shouldn't have done that because the potential resource removal is uh, is actually quite high here. And then I just, hmm. yeah, okay, he did just remove my two resources, so that wasn't a good choice by me at all. After all, so yeah, I am not playing this very well. I'm just gonna roll the trooper out. I'm not taking that melee damage. And two blanks! Perfect. Perfect blanks. There we go. This is uh, not very good right now. Mm. The one melee damage is the second worst result I have can get on Qui-Gon Jinn after a blank. So, huh. This is not ideal. This is definitely not ideal, especially with no resources available to me. Okay, he plays second Sith Holocron. Now that's just scary. And by now that's just scary, I mean it definitely is scary. Alright, I think I just discard the flank and do a full reroll. 
Okay, that's a two melee damage, that's a discard, uh, that's a resource, and that's a focus. Well, the resource is very, very welcome at this point. Because I need them, I only actually... Hmm. Rolls the special and force choke again. Which is annoying. Very, very annoying. Guess two resources on Kylo, because I don't get resources on anything. Uh, I think I'll just throw the two melee into, the, into it from Qui-Gon, otherwise he gets... But then again, maybe I want the force choke to hit Qui-Gon's, because then that's hitting Qui-Gon and no one else. Yeah, just roll the trooper outright, and then maybe go for re-rolls again. Uh, the trooper. A plus one. Great. This is the thing with Akbar, right? It's two Akbar die and they both have a resource. They both have two resources on them, whereas this deck is perhaps hurting a bit for all resources. Okay, he's paying one. Uh, four strike again, just for the one extra damage? Okay. Who are you hitting? Okay. He paid one resource for one extra damage. I don't really understand that. But I'll accept that as a thing that just happened. Let's, uh, let's, since both four strikes are done, probably should be focusing Kylo rather than the Vader. So let's, uh, let's, let's do that. Let's just put two melee into Kylo now. Let's actually start hurting a bit. So is he going to take two resources? Is he going to discard to re-roll? I don't understand the use of that foul four strike there, because that's the difference between two and three damage isn't a lot here. I'll say though, I've taken a lot of damage and I've got basically nothing on the board for it. Have I just not drawn well or is the or have I overestimated the curve on this deck a little? Okay, he's gonna power the force for four resources. That's scary. I focus for the resources here? Is that what I do? Not the best thing in the world, but I think that's what I do. And I hate the fact that that's what I do. I force chokes it, so he's down to so that trooper's down to one health. Okay, and what do you turn the dice to? Okay. Do I discard to reroll here? I, I'm kind of desperate for stuff here. But if I resolve, I resolve my resource right now, I can then get an echo base and clap the battlefield for the start of next turn. Still have a dug in in my deck somewhere, but I kind of need to get these cards out of my hand at the same time. I think I just discard to reroll. Don't like losing defensive stance. By the way, it's defensive without an E. That's an interesting thing. Uh, I think I just discard to reroll these two cuts. And... He disconnected. We are back! Alright, and we're back. He just, uh... He had a bit of a problem there. And he's going to reroll. Okay. And he got two focuses, so uh, he can always, uh... Put whatever is in his hand onto the field if it's a 
It's a Sith Holocron. All right, well, I'm going to take my resource. So I have one resource. Yay. What happened to my other resource? Did he disrupt it? Oh, no, I know. He, uh, yeah, he hauled. He hit it with the full stroke. Okay, he focuses to the two melee. He can kill someone. He can kill uh, this uh, trooper with that, unfortunately for me. So uh, I can shield him, though, and keep him alive, which I think I will do. Shield keeps him alive. He goes to six rather than five. Dead. Could potentially be used to guardian one last dice if he needs to. Okay. Does that guy? You have to pay for it though. He didn't actually delete. Oh. Yeah, can't delete until promotion. That's what happened. All right. Well, I'm gonna claim the, claiming the battlefield. Me, right here, right now, and I am going to do that. Hit Kylo. Put that back on. And fuck. All right, and we're back. It looks like we are back now. So uh, here we go. All right. He keeps disconnecting. It's a problem. He's uh currently in a hotel somewhere. Must be somewhere in Britain, because the ping is low. But... Hey, field medic and defensive stance. I can uh, definitely heal people right here if I want to. Uh, it's my turn first, so I could just straight up put a scout on somebody here. Uh, but I am worried about the lack of resources, but fuck it, I'm doing it anyway. Alright, he's going to roll out Vader. I'm worried that I'm just never going to get support out this game though. There's the three range damage and the two disrupt side. Uh, that's annoying. That's very, very annoying. And he tells me to discard. Alright, well I am going to discard probably the Anticipate, unfortunately. Um, I can bring the uh, three range damage onto this Rebel Trooper, but then the Rebel Trooper is on one HP. Which I could feel Medic in defensive stance, except for the fact that... Um, Except for the fact that I'm probably going to lose all my resources on this uh, disrupt over here. Uh, I keep a guy alive though doing this. Or alternatively I let him just resolve it and that takes up an action of his to actually resolve it. And he can only kill that trooper. So I think I'll just... Uh, well I could I could also feel medic. No, feel medic wouldn't keep him alive. Yeah I think I'll just let him resolve it on that trooper. Just throw out some scouts here. Okay, I got my own two disrupt, but he has five resources, so that's not going to help necessarily. Also got a blank. Two melee damage is not terrible right now. Definitely need to kill one of these guys, unfortunately. He's going to get rid of my two resources. All right, that's fine by me. Um, maybe I should have rolled this trooper out first so he'd be forced to kill it, but then we we're kind of in the exact same spot we were in just now, so now we're just going to roll this trooper out. A plus one and a blank. These, these rolls have been... Very poor for me. Very poor, this game. At the same time, I only have three character dice and they're not the best dice in the world, so. Okay, feel your anger. There we go. That's uh, the two, removing two of my dice here, because they were all blanks. Okay. He's having trouble because of lag, I think. That's why it's so erratic. Okay. Oh, this this game, man. This game is just saying, screw you, Game Slayer, for existing. I'm gonna discard to reroll my three blanks. I get two specials. That's something, I guess. That's basically my entire turn is just finished now. The disrupt has been really painful for me, and I've not been able to do much with it. Unfortunately. Again, he gets the focus on the force choke, so he can kill... He can kill off the Rebel Trooper with the force stroke, he can do uh, damage with the Rebel Trooper. He's got the shield from uh, that and the one damage. He could potentially kill off both Troopers this turn. 
if he goes um, to put that to six and then the seven and then the seven there, and that's both troopers dead, and there's literally nothing I can do about it. Let's resolve both these focuses to look at his hand and discard the two lowest cost in it. Ah, uh, he seems to be lagging still. And he's doing something with his hand. Just, just, just pull them all out. I don't know what. You drag boxes, mate. And you just. Okay, so that was a blank. And that was a uh, shield. Alright, you got an advise all things, a full stroke, and a mobilize, and a mind trick. Alright, so that goes away. And then the. Uh, the force choke goes away. There you go. Just draw a box around your hand and drag it out. Also on TTS, you don't... Uh, hands are auto flipped. So I cannot see what they are anyway. That's a their show. Cause I assume that's why he was flipping cards like crazy in his hand or something. All right, so that that troop is dead now. I claim the uh, echo base battlefield to give uh, the rebel trooper a shield so that he doesn't die to this. Because now he's going to start taking. Because now he's going to take enough damage to have killed him if I didn't have that. Okay. Yeah, discard to do some re-rolling in the hopes you can get that uh, extra damage. Makes sense. Oh, well, he got... He got it. I just have... I can't believe how poorly this has been going for me. I've been trying to get anything going and I just never have. All from just I didn't let him just straight up resolve the three range damage last time. At the start. Well now I'm down to one character so this is a problem. Not only am I down to one character, but he has an immobilize out as well. If I was him, I'd just pay to get it out there so that he can resolve some shields if he wants. But... Oh my god, this is... This... this game has gone very poorly. I mean, I don't expect this deck to perform well, but wow. Two deflects. Deflects are all worthless in this matchup. That's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Just what I wanted to see. But hey, at least I get to spend my resources. He was just he's just misclicking. I'm sure. Alright, he gets and it buys all things out, although he's got enough upgrades that he doesn't need them. He's just killed me with character dice and mind pro and a turn one mind pro. I I'm very surprised that um everyone all my characters have died so easily in this game. And there's three blanks. This is This is just like <sighs> if he has another feel your anger, like this is this is just how this game has gone. Sometimes it just isn't there. What's this going to be? A, mi a force throw? Kyle's lightsaber. Okay. 
Well, at least I have some uh, re-roll material here. Two melee, one range to focus. Well, not focus, a special. Right, so he only has nine cards left, but like, I can't even impatience so much. Patience is still in my deck, right? Just kept black ones and, oh god, this deck, this game has been terrible. Alright, roll max damage on me. No way near ro ro max damage at least. But, uh, of course, the, the flex have turned up after my characters are dead, of course, because I always deflect mind probes. Uh, he's asking me, discard? Sure. Discard black one. Don't want it anymore. It's a horrible, horrible card. Uh, let's resolve the... The one resource? Well, hmm. Do I want to reroll? No, let's just resolve the one resource. Then I'll discard both cards in my hand. Most probably. Yep. At this point, I'm looking to just try and mill him, which is going to be extremely difficult, because I have a maximum of four dice with patience. I do still have... Um... I do st still have uh, a landing bay. Alright, cool. Well, I get rid of a power of the force at least, because that would be six damage. He keeps a No Mercy. The No Mercy, however, would mill him if he uses it, which is nice. That Power of the Force would have been absolutely killer if he'd actually managed to get the three the three range damage from mine, pro uh, the three melee probably, because I can deal with three range, but the three melee from Kyle's lightsaber would have been an eight, which would have been uh, cri crippling. Both of them rolled a special. Okay, well, he gets that other... Uh, I guess they'll mobilize out, I guess. Alright, two melee into Kylo. Well, at this point... It box. Um, finicky, but... Like, if I can get if I can get a landing bay out, maybe I've got a chance. But it, it looks like my landing bays are at the bottom of the deck. Meanwhile, I couldn't even get black ones out, so I'm not really complaining that they're at the bottom of my deck. So okay, I'm gonna discard the lightsaber. So he didn't have an immobilize in his hand. I'm just hallucinating a bit. Well, he can disrupt that resource as I had. Great, that one resource I managed to get. He's been disrupting me a lot this game as well. One range damage to hit Kylo, yay! He's gonna be able to do four melee damage to me. Clearly he is a bit of a new player to the tabletop simulator scene. At least with base I can survive for a little while, but ugh, this is not going to be great. Three of demo damage is going to come at me right now from the, from the focus. Put some shields on Kylo. This this entire game was just terrible. You're not clicking correctly. You gotta click in the middle. Okay. Right, well then, Qui-Gon Jinn, this is uh, the impossible impossible. 
Oh, now here comes some of the great, great stuff. Great. Survival gear, that would have been very nice to have had at one point. Promotion, can't play that because it's a red only, uh, red only thing. As soon as he gets a, a no mercy for like sex, I'm dead. So, uh, hmm. But oh well, at least I can uh, toss fire, scout for a survival gear here. Finally, I get a survival gear. Way too little too late though. And he rolls five, uh, but that three plus the no mercy for seven is uh, basically game. So, he's asked me to discard, yep. I'll uh, dug in here for three shields. He's probably playing on like a laptop with a trackpad or something, that's why it's very difficult for him to click. Just gonna resolve the five damage and then he's gonna have no mercy for something else, yep. Well, Qui-Gon is now going to roll. And he's going to roll mostly blanks again! That's the two discard, right? Yep. He's got the last two cards from my hand. There goes my patience and my chances of winning. And I don't have any more uh, discards, so that's uh, great. Any more re-rolls, should I say, so that's great, so, uh, resource. This this has been such... A... How often have I rolled blank on this Qui-Gon dice? How often have I rolled blank on all the other dice? This feels really, really stupid. Um, yep, there we go. Don't even care, claiming, claiming the Echo Base getting a shield. He's playing stuff from his hand though, which is not no merciable, really. But oh, that's a, a three cost. That's two cost uh, force throw, but whatever. He's okay with that. The last seven cards in my deck, one of them's going to be survival gear. Then you're going to have uh, two willpowers, I believe, and uh, you know some other things that would be nice to have had. One's going to be launch bay. Oh, that's that one melee, but he can't afford. To no mercy anymore. So. Just gonna discard to reroll some of that. Yeah. That's basically the best die force I can have though, really, unless he wants to disrupt my resources again. Well, he gets that for one more damage. Talked about how I want to play the mill game though, and yeah, I'm the one getting milled. He actually discards the No Mercy though, that surprises me. So No Mercy is his ticket to just win the game outright. But I mean, he's got the win anyway, I guess. It's probably his line of thinking. Oh, I don't actually have willpower in this deck, but here's the other field medic, I guess. Also got the other survival gear and the force training. Look at all these upgrades cards that were in my deck that I just never got. Well, I'll uh, replace the scout for the other survival gear, costing me one. There's the two disrupt and the mind probe. Doesn't want me to discard because of the mind probe, sure. 
Gonna play Field Medic for one. So I'm only gonna take three from the Mind Probe. Uh, I'm missing no dice. Oh, shields! Shields, oh my god! The f like, that's like the third non-blank from Qui-Gon, this game. And I've re-rolled him a few times. All right, well. He's probably got the other No Mercy in his uh, deck, because he had his hand, because yeah, he's only used one of them. So uh, I need to uh, make sure that the No Mercy doesn't kill me by uh, taking four shields. And unfortunately, I have to waste one of the shields. So, because it's before this character gains one or more shields, so I can't remove a shield if I don't have any. But at this point, if he uh, no mercies, he can no mercy me for six, which is still the kill. So. Go away, Peter. Professional YouTuber here. Yep, there's the No Mercy for the game. Yep. I am super salty. That was that was terrible. That that was absolutely terrible. Extremely. I drew both the flex the turn after you had resolved three range damage twice. <laughs> Just to add further insult to injury. <laughs> this did not go very well at all. Ah, spinning of doom. Ah, my frame, my bit rate is probably a bit lower because of this roll. Uh, yeah, it really was. No problem. Uh, this is being me against like 998k. No brainer, this deck did not work very well, but I'm not going to judge that against the deck necessarily. We need more testing to actually confirm, because this might have just been one of those things that happened. But you never know, it might be that this deck just does this all the time. In which case, back to the drawing board. Signing off.